far in tonight's show, we've concentrated on the woeful antics of those who should know better. Actors, presenters, television professionals, people who are paid money to do what they do and still can't do it. But what about the ones who aren't paid to be on telly? Those poor, normal human beings going quietly about their business when suddenly they're thrust into the world of television. It can be a bit of a shock. Some people never get over it, like Louis Spence. <laughs> so in just a moment, if I can be totally insincere, everything we do in television, we do for you, the great British public. And this is how you repay us? <laughs> the factory would have brought four million pounds into the economy here every year. That's not going to happen anymore. I didn't really like that. I'll do it again. Oh, I, like uh, I should have just said, no more. Something like that. Hey, 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 you're right. hey, hey, all right. Hey, you're all right. Hey, you're coming to the manor. You're coming to see the manor. Can you tell us? We tell you, tell me, God, it's the BBC. No, BBC. Oh, it's there. Oh, oh, there the factory. oh, it's a, come back. I tell you, the one that's going to tell that factory, I tell you, to, uh, the same as the Prime Minister. Let's tell you a story. I was over in London, I said, Danny, what's in it? And the one of the Prime Ministers said, we're still here and we are. Good man. I've seen it, we're telling the Italian truth. Because yeah. suddenly it's open the storm, but we're telling you, we're racking it down. I tried to tell you, I killed it in the war. Right. But us Britons here and we'll be here. Good man. Come here, tell you, I've got to get this going. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what do you want?